Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'm learning this truth. Shalom to the Aki. I'm pushing this truth in our sincerity and our honesty. So I'm going to do a quick, quick video. You know, I was watching um, a lesson from, you know, one of the brothers. You know, and, you know, it, it really, you know, touched my spirits. I said I wanted to do it, man, because, you know, you know, I can speak from experience, man. You know, I've been, I haven't been in this truth for too long. You know, and um, since coming coming to this truth, man, it's like, you know, people like may treat you differently, man. You know, even if they don't show you to your face, you know, behind your back, they may talk. You know, may, they may say a whole heap of things about you. They may curse you. They may say, you know, you're... You know, you believe in on the truth. You believe in Yahweh, Bashim, El Shai, you're, that you're an Israelite. You know, they may curse you out for that. They may talk um, shit against you, man. You know, one individual um, asked me, um, do you think you're in a cult? Do you feel what you're, what you're in, involved in is a cult? You know? And, you know, they may say that to your face, but, you know, you don't even know what they may be saying behind your back, man. And that's the main reason why, man, you know, when we, since we're in this truth, man, you know, especially speaking f um, for myself, man, you know, I try my best, you know, to stay away from all the people I used to chill with, man, when I was out in the world, man, you know, because they, they can't, they won't be able to, you know, they won't be able to understand it, man, and, and, and they may hate you, man, you know, the spirit, the unrighteous spirit that's on them may hate the righteous spirit that's on you, man, you know, and as the brother said in his lesson, like, you know, in his video, you know, like they may not even they may not even know why they hate you, but they may hate you. They may not tell you they hate you, but they may hate you, man. You know, just for doing the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Because at the end of the day, it is where it is, man. You know, that's the cross that we have to bear, and that's why you know, I try my best to stay away from all these individuals, man. You know, and even if you got these people in, this, in in the world, they may curse. You know, they may talk shit, because that's what's gonna happen, man. You know, when you join, when you, when you, you know, um, be a part of this truth, man, when you repent and, you know, when you convert and, and, you know, these individuals out there in the world, you know, they see you stop doing certain things and stop behaving in certain ways, man. You know, they may look at you differently, man, you know, because, you know, you're not moving along with the things that they are, man, you know. I'm going to get a few, few precepts, you know. I uh, don't want to make this too, too long. I just wanted to, you know. Uh, do a quick, quick video on it. I'm gonna get a few precepts. And the first piece I'm gonna get is Second Corinthians six verses um fourteen. Okay, this is a Second Corinthians six verses fourteen, and it reads, "Be not unequal, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers." So this is Deuteronomy. So Deuteronomy. So like, this is Second Corinthians six verses fourteen. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? So he said, be not, you know, unequally yoked with unbelievers, man. You know, what's the point, man? You know, because guess what? They they, they are going to hate you, man. Even if they don't say it, they are going to hate you because of the, the, the righteous spirit. Like they, they see that you change, man. Because I was even speaking to an individual um, yesterday and this morning, you know, it's, and when I when I was out in the world and I was going to university, you know, saw so this individual and um, the individual said, um, um, uh, their mind basically their mind was running on me because, you know, before when I was in uni, you know, I looked I looked kind of scary, you know, because of the how way I, I used to be, I used to act, you know, I was out there in the world, I was you know doing certain things and, you know, just being a nigger basically, you know, and um, so she said that. You know, when, when she used to see me in university, she was, she'd be scared of me, you know. And, um, you know, she said, um, randomly, I just came across her mind. And then one day she decided to look for me on the, on the social media. So she found my account on the gram and she, she said instantly she could see that I wasn't the same individual how I was before. She didn't know I was in the truth. She didn't know, you know, what my, my beliefs were. But she said instantly she knew that I wasn't the same individual, man. You know, and then we were speaking, you know, we were speaking on, you know, certain things with, you know, the economy crashing and, you know, with, um, 
you know, you know, basically exp explain to about the MOTB, you know, the, you know, CHIP, and you know what's gonna happen when the economy crash, and they're gonna make that, you know, the 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 way how you know individuals, you know, conduct business and buy and sell and whatsoever, you know, and she was basically saying, um, you know, she's not gonna take it, whatever, whatever, and I said. You know, just pray, you know, the Heavenly Father put that spirit upon you not to take it. By the end of the day, I told her that, you know, we're Israelites, man. You know, I told her that, you know. But um, at the end of the day, it's up to her um, what she does with that information, man. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, I told that story to make the point that, you know, she said that, you know, I was a completely, I looked completely, you know, different from how I was. Uh, you know, she could see that I've changed, man, you know. And she, I told her I didn't smoke anymore. She was shocked. She didn't probably didn't even know that. But hey, it's where it is, man. You know, people out there in the world, man, they will see. They can see it, man. They can see that change that you've made, man. They can see it. You know, when you got that spirit of righteousness on you, you know, and they're in their in, in their wickedness, you know, they will hate you for that, man. Sometimes they don't even know why they hate you. You're at work, your manager may hate you, your manager may, you know, you you know. May 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 uh, make you do more more jobs. You know they may um put more pressure on you more than everybody else. They as Jimmy can say they will take set on you more than everybody else. Why? Because you've got that righteous spirit upon you, man. You know you may, you know you be you could be doing anything, man. Going anywhere, man, and just people just start hating you for no reason and treating you badly for for no reason. It was not for no reason, right? Because it's because you got that righteous spirit on you, man. You know. So when you're coming to this thing, man, you know, like, be prepared to get treated like, like doo-doo. Be prepared to get, to be saying, oh, you, you're in a cult, you know, you're being brainwashed, you know. I, I've been told that before. And you don't even know what people are saying behind your back. So it says, I read it again, it says, um, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. What's, what's the point being around them, man? Because guess what, they can drag you back in carnality. They can drag you back, you know, in, in, in their wickedness, man, you know. You stop smoking weed. Why are you going to go around a weed smokers, man? That's burning it up, blazing it up every day, man. What's the point? You stay away from all of that, man. Say, I stop smoking weed. I don't go around all my friends that I used to, where I used to smoke weed with, man. You know, on the ends and that. I ain't seen them. I don't smoke with them, man. Because I understand, you know, that I'm trying to change and they are still in their wickedness. I can't be mixing myself with those, those individuals, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, they... They are gonna see the change, you know, that I'm trying to do, you know, through the spirit and power of the Hawabashi Mao Shai. It's not on my own, it's not on my own merit. You know, this Yahabashi Mao Shai is the one that's making this happen. Right. And hopefully if I'm part to be elect and I endure to the end, you know, I'll be delivered, man. You know, I wanna get um um what's this is uh John fifteen verses eighteen. Um This is John 15, verses 18, and it reads, If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hate you. <coughs> yeah? So the scripture says, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, that you know, if the world hate you for being a part of this truth, if they don't hate you for worshipping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if the world hate you, you know, for for you know for you know, because you're trying to change in and you're trying to be more righteous, you know, and you're trying to change your ways and putting up the old man, if they hate you for that. If they hate you for doing the work of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. They, they don't hate you. They hate Yahweh Hashem El Shai for you doing the work of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Scripture says, um, let me read it again. It says, um, uh, so like, where is it? Um, it says, um, if the world hate me, so like, if the world hate you, he know that it hated me before it hated you, right? So guess what? Like, you know, come when you bring out the truth. They hear about the truth, they may scoff, they may talk rubbish, you know, they may talk shit. But guess what? You know, they're not cursing at you, they're cursing at Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because you're doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and hopefully, if we be up the elect, we'll be endured to the end, man. Because, you know, we, we go through all of these sufferings now, we go through all these humiliations, we go through all these cursings, and all of these things out. Because in the kingdom, sign of the elect, right? We, we shall, you know, we shall be. In a different state, man, you know, we shall be lifted up, we shall be, we shall be lifted up by Yahweh Hashem El Shai. And they're going to regret all the things that they've said about you. They're going to regret all the things, you know, all the cursings, you know, they're going to regret that, that they say you're in a cult. 
they're going to regret that, you know, saying that uh, you being an Israelite, you're being brainwashed. They re- they're going to regret all the things that they've thought about you that they that know that you don't know, you know. And this is for all. If you're coming across my my, my you know my video and you're an Israelite, you know you believe in Yahweh, you know Shai, and you're new just like me. This this you know goes out to you, man, because you're coming to this truth. You understand that it's not all nice and lovey dovey, man. It's not all sweet, man. There's a there, there's a lot of hardships, you know, to go through in this truth, right? So at the end of the day, man, all these things that these coffers and all of these people in the world may say about you, it could be your family, your friends, your girlfriend, your girl you're trying to deal with, old friends, whatever the case may be, man. They are going, they are going, right? They are going to be, they have to, um, what's the state, what's, what's the word? They're going to have to be accountable. They're going to be accountable for what they say in the day of judgment, man. They are going to be, count, they're going to be, they have to be accountable. Right, let me get, um, is it Mark 9, verse 42? Right, this is Mark 9, verses, um, so look at, bear with me. this is Mark 9, verses 42, and it says, Whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, so all, all those that, you know, we talk shit about us, that believe in Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, right? He says, it is better for him that a miles that like that a millstone were hung about his neck and he were cast into the sea. That's what he says. Right? He says, um, I will read it again. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me. So if you believe in Yahabashim Yahushai and you got your family, your friend, your girl, you know, anybody that's you know that's um talking shit about you, you know cursing you out for being in the truth what did he say it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea it is better for a millstone to be cut to be hung around neck and is it better him drowning at the sea than to do that they're going to be count they're going to be made accountable for all the, all the wicked things and all the ill thoughts they've had and that they've said about us man if we be of the elect man they're going to regret all of the things that they've said man you know, unless they repent. But we know most of our people ain't going to repent, man. Most of our people are not going to repent. You know, most of our people are going to get destroyed on this side. You know, they, they're going to make, be made accountable for all that they said, man. You know, for all that they said, they're going to be made accountable. You know, so, you know, let's be like us. You know, we shouldn't, you know, let them draw us out. You know, let them get us angry to fight them and all of these things, man. We should stay spiritual, man. Stay strong in your heart, in your shy. Hopefully, if we be of the elect and we endure to the end, you know, we we, we shall, you know, you know we're we getting humiliated now. You know, we're at a humble state right now. But, you know, if we be of the elect, we shall be exalted by the Hawa Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? And there's one precept I wanted to get as well before I go, before I end it here. Uh, bear with me. Uh... Yeah, um, bear with me one second. Uh, let me see if I can find it on here. Uh, um, bear with me. Bear with me a second. Uh, so this is a Matthew nineteen. Oh, I'll still like here. This is Matthew nineteen versus um twenty nine. 
I'm going to start reading from verses um, 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that he which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, regeneration, right? So, you know, when you get brought back into the kingdom, right? He shall sit upon 12 ju thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So guess what? That's the elect, man. You know, if if, if, if if we endure on this side, if we go through all of the trials, all the tribulations that we're going through, all of the hardships that we're going through on this side, getting humiliated by these people that's calling us, whatever, not, let, not letting them bring us back into the world, not letting them draw us out, not let them affect us. So, we, we you know, we, we, we become weak and, you know, you know, if we really endure to the end, you know, we shall be ruling with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, in the kingdom, man. What did he say? Um, verily I say unto you that he which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit in the throne of his glory he shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel man and that's the that's the elect man the 144,000 man that's the elect 29 and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mothers or wives or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So guess what? All these individuals, man, all these Israelites nowadays, man, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, what are you doing? You're chasing all these riches and you're chasing all this wealth and your career. You know, I'm a bank manager. Oh, I'm a this. Oh, I'm a that. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a artist. I'm a famous artist. You know, I'm a real estate agent. You know, trying to get rich off in this kingdom, man. You know, guess what? Then it's gonna mean nothing soon, you know. It's not gonna mean nothing soon, you know. The people in the, our people in on this side, man, they're chasing all of this, all of these um um thing like these riches and luxuries in this kingdom. I don't understand that the luxuries in our kingdom, you know, when we're ruling, is gonna be a, a much better. You know, we're gonna be the elect. Hopefully, if we be of the elect. If I be of the elect, I pray and hope I am because I don't know, but I pray and hope I am. You know, I'll be I'll be you know ruling the earth, man. You know, with alongside all the other men of the elect, you know, under Yahweh Bashim Shai. Hopefully, if I'm part of the elect, man, we will be receiving our riches and our glory in our kingdom, man. Not this place, man. So, guess what? We come into this truth and we sacrifice, you know, our careers. Because I wanted to be a, a musician. I was quite good. I, I was quite good at it as well, you know. And if I kept going at it, who knows? I probably will. I probably would receive a lot of riches and fame from it in this kingdom but guess what all of that is going to go soon you know so sacrifice careers sacrifice friendships you know sacrifice um um women because I've, I've had women i was dealing with that you know couldn't really be with me because i wasn't on going you know going to church so guess what it just couldn't work out so it's sacrificed on many things man you know, to be in this truth. Why? Because we want to receive salvation, man. We want to receive all of the, 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 the benefits of, 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 of enduring to the end. You know, Yahweh Shai was on the earth and he was the ultimate sacrifice, man. So the little things that we're sacrificing is nothing compared to what Yahweh Shai sacrificed for us, man. You know? So that's the main point I wanted to get. I hope it was edifying, you know. I didn't plan to do this lesson, but I wanted it to be a lot shorter than that. But hey, you know, with that, I'm going to say, we praise it. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rukakodash. Until next time, Shalom.